In this lesson, we'll take a look at two examples of evaluating indefinite integrals using the method of u-substitution. For the first example, we have the integral of tan squared 3x dx. If we take a look at the integration formulas on the right, notice how we don't have an integration formula for tangent squared u, which means we'll have to change the form of the integrand function before we determine the antiderivative. To do this, we'll be using one of the Pythagorean identities shown here on the right, where since tan squared x plus one is equal to secant squared x, if we solve for tan squared x, we have tan squared x equals secant squared x minus one, which means we can substitute secant squared three x minus one for tangent squared three x, which means a given integral is equal to the integral of secant squared three x minus one dx. And now to integrate secant squared three x, we'll have to perform u substitution. And since we don't have to perform u substitution to integrate one dx, let's write this as two separate integrals. This is equal to the integral of secant squared three x dx, which again requires u substitution minus the integral of one dx, which does not require u substitution. And now let's set up the u substitution for the first integral where u is going to be equal to the inner function of three x. So if u is equal to three x, differential u is equal to the derivative of three x times dx, which is three dx. We don't have three dx as part of the integral, so let's go ahead and divide both sides by three to solve for dx. Simplifying, we have one third du equals dx. We can now substitute u for three x and we can substitute one third du for dx. Writing the first integral in terms of u, again, dx is equal to one third du, let's factor out the one third, then we have differential u, and secant squared three x is now secant squared u. And we still have minus the integral of one dx, and now we integrate the first integral with respect to u and write it back in terms of x, and then integrate the second integral with respect to x. Well, one third times integral of secant squared u du is equal to one third times tangent u plus c. So let's write that as one third times, again, tangent u is really tangent three x. And we'll leave the plus c for the very end. And then minus the integral of one dx is equal to x, giving us minus x. And then we have plus c. So this is the indefinite integral or antiderivative, let's go and identify this as big F of x. Big F of x is equal to one third times the tangent of three x minus x plus c, where this is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function of tan squared three x. To show this though, we'd have to find the derivative and then perform another substitution using the Pythagorean identity. And now looking at our second example, we have the integral of the quantity four plus four cotangent squared 11 x dx. Once again, looking at the integration formulas on the right, we don't have an integration formula for cotangent squared u, and therefore once again we'll have to perform a substitution using one of the Pythagorean identities. Before we do this though, let's factor out the common factor of four and write this as the integral of four times the quantity one plus cotangent squared 11 x dx. And now looking at the given identities, since one plus cotangent squared x is equal to cosecant squared x, we can substitute cosecant squared 11 x for one plus cotangent squared 11 x. So this is equal to the integral of four times cosecant squared 11 x dx. And now to integrate here, again, because of the 11x, we'll have to perform u substitution, where u is equal to 11x, and therefore differential u is equal to 11dx. We don't have 11dx as part of the integral. Let's divide both sides by 11. Simplifying, we now know that 1 11th du equals dx. So we're the integral in terms of u. Again, we have u is equal to 11x, and 1 11th du equals dx. So to begin with, let's factor out the four. 
dx is equal to 1 11th du. Let's factor out the 1 11th. And then we have du. And cosecant squared 11x is cosecant squared u. Simplifying, we have 4 elevenths times the integral of cosecant squared u du, which is equal to negative cotangent u plus c, which gives us 4 elevenths times negative cotangent u, but u is 11x, and then plus c. Simplifying one last time, we have negative 4 elevenths cotangent 11x plus c as the indef integral or antiderivative. Again, let's go ahead and label this big F of x. I hope you found this helpful.